I literally, y'all, I kid you not, I actually had to cut, take some scissors and actually physically cut the garment off of myself because the neckline had absolutely no stretch to it at all. And I could not physically get it off of myself. Hi, my name is Rachel Lynn and I am a fashion and apparel designer. Um, I created this channel basically to give insight, give tips, give some, maybe some instructions to people who are interested in starting their own clothing brands, or maybe who already have a clothing brand and just want to expand into more unique products. Um, I actually have my own brand that I'm in the development process uh, with, and I also work with some other brands doing some private label design work for them and other designers as well. So today I really wanted to talk about the importance of understanding like fabrics and things like that. I think a lot of times when people jump into uh, wanting to start like a fashion brand, I think we see like the glitz and the glam, like we want to see, like we want to be like one of those high fashion brands that's all that all the celebrities are wearing, that everybody's wearing. We want to be like one of the next Nike or um, you know, Adidas or one of these, you know, large major brands. And that's understandable. You absolutely can be that. You can you can do that. But there's certain things that, especially when you first start your brand, that you really need to be aware of, especially when it comes to these manufacturers, um, because they will throw your shit together, excuse my language, if you are not uh, conscious of uh, what what is actually happening with your products and what you're asking them to do. So specifically today, I really wanted to talk really quick about fabrics. Because a lot of times when people are starting their own brand, and this is me too, I, I'm actually speaking from experience when I'm telling you guys this, because I'm just going through the development process with my own brand and everything. And I've got a bunch of samples and everything. I've gone through this whole process. So I know what I'm talking about. OK, when it comes to your when you get a sample from a manufacturer, you you before you even get your sample made, you need to have some kind of an awareness of what type of fabric is going to be used to make your product. So if you're if you want to make T-shirts, hoodies, if you want to make more unique fashion apparel, all of that stuff, you have to have some type of consciousness or awareness of what type of fabric is being used to make your products. One of the mistakes that I made, the, one of the biggest mistakes that I made, I made a lot of mistakes and I've learned from them, but one of the biggest mistakes that I made was ordering samples without understanding or not really knowing like what type of fabric is being used. Okay. So I'm going to give you guys exhibit A here. Okay. This is actually, the this, this top that I'm wearing now is actually a different version of this exact sample, okay? So this is, it's a sweatshirt top. It's a top and it's a, it has sweatshirt bottom, I'm sorry. It's a top and it has a matching bottom set to go with it. The problem with this type of fabric, okay? This was the original sample that was created for this particular garment style, this particular design. The problem with the this type of fabric, this is a very common fabric that is used, especially with manufacturers who are based out of like Pakistan. So we'll just use Pakistan specifically. Polyester, and this is a, a, a polyester that has like a fleece-like um, inside. It doesn't have a liner, but it has like a fleece uh, like inside of the actual uh, printed fabric. So the, the outside is a uh, printed polyester. It's a subliminal print polyester fabric. And then on, on the inside, it's like this fleece material. This material, guys, I'm telling y'all right now, this is very commonly used. And I'm gonna tell y'all what the problem with this is. These fabrics are, first of all, they're not breathable. So you're not, if you have your clothes made, with this type of fabric, you're not going to get a lot of repeat business because your cu your customer is going to be very uncomfortable when they're wearing this. It's not breathable. It's almost like a fabric version of plastic. 
it's not stretchy. So the neckline barely stretches. So somebody with a big head like me is going to barely be able to even get this on and off. I'm going to tell y'all the truth, y'all. They sent me three samples of this same exact print, the same exact garment in different, I guess, textures. And none of them were able to stretch at the neck. When I had one of them, when I had to, when I tried it on, I literally, y'all, I kid you not, I actually had to cut, take some scissors and actually physically cut the garment off of myself because the neckline had absolutely no stretch to it at all. And I could not physically get it off of myself. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not even lying. Like I actually had to cut the sample off of myself. Imagine somebody who is, imagine not really being conscious of what you're doing. You get this and you're like, oh my God, this is so pretty. I love it. I love the design. I love everything about it. Oh my gosh. And then you go and you order this and you and you sell it. And then people are putting this on their body and they can't get it on or off. You're not going to get any repeat business. I'm telling y'all, pay attention to your fabrics because that's important. So anyways, I had the garment remade in just plain black because I didn't want to have another fiasco with subliminal printing. So this garment is so super comfortable, y'all. This is a cotton spandex blend. I absolutely love this. And it's super stretchy. As you can see, I can easily stretch this. It retains its shape. And it's just so much more comfortable. I can, it's breathable. It doesn't feel like I'm wearing plastic. It's good. So I'm not saying that all polyesters are bad because there are some really good polyesters. But what I am saying is that one of the things that are that is important when you start your brand, if you're not just opting for basics like t-shirts, hoodies, sweatshirts, you want to do some stuff that has a little bit more detail to it, maybe some printing on it. You do have to be aware of your fabrics, okay? So that's going to be all for this video. I'm going to make a separate video and I'm going to delve a little bit deeper into some other manufacturing things that you want to pay attention to. You got to be careful about because if you don't know what you're doing, you're going to spend money, a lot of money, and you're not going to get what you want, okay? All right, y'all. I will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Make sure you guys subscribe to my channel to get more tips, more information on how to start your clothing brand, how to communicate with manufacturers and anything else that you may need to know to either expand your brand or get started.